Hey guys, I'm Kieran and today in today's videos I'll be explaining to you guys on what agents for you to main in solo queue rank specifically in iron and bronze so currently I'm in silver right now and I tried playing many agents to help me clan off iron and bronze till I found the one that suit my playstyle so you should do that as well try different agents find which one you like the most and you can carry with so if you guys are ready please leave a like subscribe that would help me a lot um, thank you for the support recently it's not a lot but I do really really appreciate it so yes yeah, so please subscribe if you like you want to see more content like this you got if you got any videos ideas or questions just leave it in the comments section down below and let's get right into the first agent so the first agent is Phoenix and I think Phoenix is one of the best in my opinion because Phoenix is the best solo queue because his skill set lets him play alone by himself and carry games with. First, he got his flash. He even have two of them, and it's very OP. But like in high ranks, people can 180 or like turn around from it. But in lower ranks, he can't. And next, he got his wall. You can curve it. You can put it up, put it down. It's very big. It's very good for splitting sides when you're pushing in alone. You can also flash out to the wall, and you will not get flash yourself like this. And once you're, if you're in the wall, you will heal. As you can see in the bottom left in my HP bar, you will actually heal when you're in the wall. And it's very good for healing yourself and blocking sides and flash out and stuff. So next is his Smalley. His Smalley is very good for clearing angles or like blocking side from, from the other team pushing out to shoot you. And you can like focus on the other side instead. You can also use it to heal yourself that's why it's good for solo queue because sometimes the sage won't heal you or you don't have a sage on your team and yeah next is his ult his ult is very strong because you, you basically have two lives even though it's not that long but i still think it's very long and you can use your flash and molly and stuff and once it ends or you die you will fall back to the same spot where you left your ult do be careful when you use it because the enemy will see like a fire pit on the ground where you use your ult where your body is you see once you come back if they camp here then you are dead because there's a little delay animation before you can pull out your gun so the next agent is my main if you think that you have super good aim but you can't win gunfights because you have lower hp from the previous gunfight then i recommend you should try reyna reyna is super effective in solo queue for low ranks if you have good aim though the reason I put Reyna on this list is because I felt like Reyna can solo carry and take fights against more than one enemy, which you would mostly be put in that position when playing in solo queue. Her first ability is her blind, which lasts us 3 seconds but the, but the enemy can shoot it. Her second and third skill use the same charge. The first one is a heal which heals you 100 HP after you got a kill and it also has an effect called overheal which means if you have 100 HP already it will go until 150 HP the second one is dismiss once you got a kill you use it it then would take and then you won't take any damage and CC the ult will make you shoot faster and you have a limited charge of devour and dismiss but when you use your ult after you got a kill it will instantly heal and if you use the dismiss you will be invisible and don't take any damage or cc that's why i think reyna can be a very good solo queue agent but to keep in mind if you're playing reyna please be very good have, um, have a very good aim first because if you're playing reyna and you have bad aim you can't really give any team your team any thing like if you're playing sova you don't have good aim you can still have your recon your shock dart your drone your ult you can still get information, killjoy, you can still use your turn for info, use your molly, get some kills. But for Reyna, if you have bad aim, you basically just, you seem just gonna lose instantly. And I found that a lot of myself, that's why I recommend warming up before you play Reyna 100%. This will help you in your Reyna gameplay. And um, a little tip of playing Reyna, if you want to be very good at her and main her and climb with her, like I did, then be confident with yourself try to take all the fights you could but to keep in mind like you don't have to take any fights but just any fights that you have advantage just do it um because if you can get kills then the enemy will be scared of you because Rena is a very scary character because she can heal up to 150 
so yeah be confident and practice your aim a lot and you can carry games with reina all right guys so just a disclaimer i don't have the clips for this agent because i don't play it a lot but i used to play it in solo queue and it helps me a lot so let's get right into the third one now you guys might be thinking why put two duelists in this solo queue agent list so the last one would be a controller I think you guys already know what agent I'm talking about. So the last agent in the list in this list is Omen. Omen is so good because you have smokes that can reach almost to the other side of the map, which lets you play alone and being a role of lurking. His smokes are so good for one ways as well. If you guys don't know what a one way smokes mean, or you want to learn the spots for it, go check out this guy called Mopork. I will also put his link in the description down below if you guys are interested. Omen also have a short TP called Shroud Step, which lets you do some crazy outplays on your enemy or just to get out of places that is not looking good. He has a flash as well called Paranoia, which blinds enemy, but do be careful because the enemy can still see you if you are close to them. His ult is one of the best. He can TP anywhere in the map or just to get info, then cancel and come back to the same spot. So yeah, that's all for my best three agents to solo queue and carry with in the lower ranks like iron and bronze that I that I play in. And just a reminder that this is just my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed and try these agents out or learn more about them. And if you if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It will mean a lot for me. Stay safe and goodbye.